Greetings. Konnichiwa. It's new guitar day. It's by this brand of guitar. You know, I've never owned a guitar by this particular brand. I had a few Squires. So here it is, my first Fender. Right, why have I got this? Well, yeah, it was a semi-impulsive purchase, but not completely. I've wanted this guitar for a long time. Um, it's nothing super fancy or special or anything. Um, well, I don't know, I might feel differently when I've opened it. It is a guitar for a really specific reason that I've wanted for a very long time, a reason that will become clear in a moment. Uh, I saw this guitar a few years ago and I really want one of those. And at the time I just couldn't afford it. Since then it's been discontinued. So I was like, ah, oh, that's it. That's my chance gone. I'll never get one unless I could find one secondhand. So I scoured the eBay and stuff. But then I had a look on eBay the other day and I found a new one. Followed the link to the store. It's actually from Absolute Music. Uh, they had it even cheaper on their website and it was already a good price. And so I thought, you know what? Gosh, I'm just gonna have it. I'm just gonna have it. So there's some stuff. What do we get here? A little Fender warranty thing. Case looks half decent. I didn't expect it to be in much. I know it's not in a hard case, but, hmm. but it appears to be in, I think it's upside down, but I aimed it the right way up. Just dropped it. Good start. Right, here we go. It's in a nice Fender gig bag. Well, that's all right, isn't it? I'm really particular about Fender guitars. There's only one colour that I think Fender guitars look good in. That's a shocking opinion. But what colour is it? Oh, here you ask. God, it's, uh, it's this colour. I'm excited. Let's get rid of the gig bag for a second. Okay, here it is. Zing! Ooh, they're pretty, aren't they? Look at that. Locking machine head. I didn't think it think about that. Put this guitar in front of the light so you can't see my face. That's cool. Ooh, 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 it looks so pretty. I almost don't want to film this, I just want to enjoy it, but I thought I'd share it with you. Yeah, Fender guitars only look good in one colour, IMHO. They've got to be white, and they've got to have a black plate. There it is. Ah. Oh. Well, isn't that pretty? Blimey. Also, the scratch plate is dinged, but it's uh, plastic. Oh, wow. Okay, controversial guitar opinion. I'm not the biggest fan of these satin finish necks, actually. They're all the rage and have been for a number of years. Um, my Ibanez Universe has one. Um, my Ibanez bass has one. Every Fender I've played in recent years has one. My other Telecaster, which is not here right now, is a Squire Classic Vibe, and it has a really, really glossy neck, which I prefer. So there you go. See how I get on with that. Very high, very high radius. It's a very flat fretboard. That bridge cannot possibly be in tune. Look how straight that is. That obviously is gonna need saying up. Jeez. Okay, why did I want this? particular model of Telecaster. Why did I hold out for this when there's so many tellies on the market anyway, and this is discontinued? That's the clue. It's got three pickups. It's got a five-way selector. It's got a strap middle pickup for those in-between tones. You gotta to have that chirp and that burp. So that is why I always wanted this, the Fender Nashville Telecaster, and now I have one. Isn't, look at this lens, makes it look a bit weird. Isn't that pretty? Isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. I wonder how hilariously out of tune it is. Oh, cool. The action's meh. It's all right, let's rush out the box. That was satisfying. Yeah, there it is. Some of my favourite guitar players play Telecasters. Probably the, my biggest influence, who is a Telecaster player, is Graham Coxon out of Off Blur. And also, I think they're massively underrated as a metal machine. I think you can do some really devastating stuff with a Telecaster and some high gain. I'll do a different video for the tones and stuff. I'm just, this is the unboxing. I'll just do a tones only video. Oh, it's pretty. 
looks very pretty. Just popping the plastic. So where was I about the Telecasters? Oh yeah, I went and tried some out. I ended up buying that classic vibe because I, at the time I, it, my budget was like high-end Squire or a kind of very low-end Mexican vendor. And I thought the classic vibe was better quality at the time. I got that from Reverb, which used to be Musical Exchanges in Birmingham. So yeah, that's what I bought. And then that was my main, well, my only Telecaster for many years until today. Yeah, I popped the plastic straight away. I know, some of you are appalled at this, aren't you? But as much as I love the classic Teletones, I was like, well, the idea of having some Strat in between on a telly, that just seems amazing. It was quite a find to get this. At least for me, because I always wanted one, so now I have one. Cool. Let's plug it in, eh? Okay, cool. First impressions. Ah, oh, the setup is... <laughs> Okay, so that is not a telly bridge on its own. That's better. I just took the bit of plastic off and that was blocking the switch. I'm playing through my GT1000 as usual. I'm just going straight into it for a change. No pedals in the chain. It's a patch. It's a stock patch called Simply Tweed 87. <laughs> Do you roll off as well. like the top end just disappears, but I'm probably being a bit picky. It's a it was a bargain. It's a Mexican made fender. It's not a uh, it's not like it came out of the custom shop. So the fact that the volume part rolls off the tone a little bit as well, it is what it is. And it's I was gonna say it's something I could easily fix. It's something my dad will easily fix for me. New guitar day. It's pretty, it's uh... I ain't gonna get bored of this, am I? Beautiful. Um, yeah, thanks for checking this out with me. Um, it's a nice, nice bit of kit. It's got a few tweaks. It's not perfect out of the box, but I wouldn't expect it to be for the price, but I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it. Anyway, yeah, cool. I'm gonna go jam.